Hello, it's Victoria from Coastal Themes and I am back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a blog to your Framer website. So sometimes you just build a landing page or you get a one page template, which doesn't include a blog section. And I'm going to show you where to get started with your blog and how to add this to your site. So I'm going to jump to the pages tab up here. Click on this. You can see I have three pages. I've got home, contact, and 404 and what i'm going to do is hit the plus button and click new cms page and hit blog and we'll start with index and this immediately gives me my blog page so it's as easy as that we can go about customizing the look of this a bit later on but i'm going to show you how to set up this blog and a blog detail page and how to manage these posts. Then to see your blog detail page, which is what your blog post page will look like, you will click the plus again, new CMS page and detail page. And there it makes a little drop down and you can see this icon here stands for CMS. And this is your blog post. This will be your title, your date, your featured image. And you can see here, this is highlighted in blue, which means it is pulling this image from the CMS. And if I click into it, you can see it pulls out a post from my CMS. You can see the content section, which is editable, that featured image, a title, the slug and the date. So that is how everything is laid out. We can talk about how you can customize this, but to go and view all your posts, you want to click on this icon here in the top panel and that will take you to see your collection. I've got one collection which is blog and inside this I've got five blog posts. So we were seeing exploring the world of coffee origins. If I click in that I see the same editor open up here. So I've got these particular fields title slug which is what you see after the URL, the date which shows me a date picker image and content and if i want to add additional fields i can simply click these three dots in the top click edit fields and i can begin adding as many fields as i want within this you can use the cms for things way beyond blog posts and that's kind of where the magic happens in framer you can also use this to kind of separate your page so maybe you have an introduction section so instead of content you might call this introduction and then you might visually be separating it into two other sections. So your body and your conclusion or insights, for example. So you can kind of go to town adding as many fields as you like. And you can add a field by clicking on this plus icon here. You can see you can add a plain text field, which will just be plain text. No ability to kind of add hierarchy to the text, bold it, add lists within it's simply just text so that is what your title will be just a plain text field and then you can add formatted text which is what your content is you can add the date links which just allows you to paste in a link you can add images a gallery so that's multiple images a color so this is particularly helpful if you want to maybe tag your posts with specific colors or specific tags you can use a combination of a plain text field and a color field and combine these together in your blog listing page or wherever your blog post is listed to show a pink tag that's called news, for example. You can also create a toggle field, numbers, options, files, and these uh, reference and multi-references here, which I will dive into in a later video. So if I add a new field, plain text, we'll actually call this tag. We'll say it's required. You can add a placeholder, and this is particularly helpful if you have a few people kind of collaborating in your framer file. The default can be news, and we will leave these other two here. So now we have a tag field. If I go back to my blog, you can see that tag field is nowhere to be seen on my blog post page. And so to add one, hit this icon here to add a new frame, add my frame, move it to where I want it. We'll put it there for now. Actually, 
we'll put it within this stack. And let me zoom in. We're going to type inside here, tag. We will attach it to the top, to the side, and adjust the width to fit the content and the height to fit the content. And then we will add a layout to this frame as a stack. And then we'll remove this blue background. So now we have this tag sitting here, just below our date. And you can see it's still saying tag. It's not pulling in any dynamic content. So to make sure it's pulling in at the tag field, you can see next to content under the text panel, there's a plus icon. I can click on this hover over the set a variable and you can see because it is pulling through from the blog I can select tag and there you have it it selects the tag which is news so that's how you can add your own custom fields to the blog post page so if we head back to the other page blog you can see this is how our blog looks with all the posts listed it's not really including my header of my site that I have on my homepage, for example, and it's also not including my footer and just some basic things I'd want to include. So if you have these headers and footers as components, then you can obviously take them from there. You can also just copy them from any other page. So I'm going to copy it from my homepage, go back to my blog and paste that. So now we have our header, our footer and blog. And obviously I might want to add my own styling make sure that the typography and the colors are all in my palette but this is actually pretty fine for now so i will leave it as it is so just to look at how you can quickly change the layout of this you can see this whole section is layout is a stack with a vertical direction and so i can begin to change this i can change it to horizontal I can make it a grid and you can slowly work it towards the way you kind of want it to look. So you can change how many columns you have. You can change the width of this entire section. So if I make the width a thousand, you can see the page begins to change and the blog posts, if I make it three columns, will look a bit better than they were before. So now if we look at this individual blog post, it again is a stack. You can see I can change the direction here. So right now it's horizontally arranged. I can arrange it vertically, which stacks the image on top of the title. If I click on the image inside, I can change the width to fill. I can also adjust the height. And I can also begin to change the sizes of the text. So at the moment, this is text size 16. I might want to make it bigger. I might want the date to be smaller or bigger. And then if I want to start doing things like adding buttons, I can let me actually get a button from my assets. So I've got this primary button, head back to my blog. We can paste that button in here. So you can see the link is missing. I'll show you how to link it to your blog post now. Let's just make the width fill. So now you can see I've got this button and I want it to link to the blog post. So if I want to link this button, I can click on it here, click on link and I can click inside this page or URL field. And you can see here, it gives me the option CMS blog slash slug. And I can click on that and that will take me to the blog item. And then if I preview this page, if I click on this button, it will take me to that blog post. If you have any questions about adding a blog to your Framer website, please drop us a comment below and we will happily go into this in more detail in another video very, very soon. And I will see you soon. Bye.